Hey, what is up investors? Jason here. So in this video, we're going to be talking about these blockchain mining stocks. Big stuff going on. I keep saying it. I keep making these videos and I keep telling you guys the Bitcoin bull run, the crypto bull run is on right now. It is moving and these blockchain mining stocks are really showing the signs of this. Now, uh, these things are still down quite a bit from where, where they were at at their highs. And that's why I'm so interested in these right now, because there is still a lot of room to grow. Now, I'm going to be talking about these main blockchain miners, of course. There's there's a good handful of them that I do really like talking about. And we're going to be discussing just kind of an all-out discussion of all these blockchain miners like we usually do on this channel but really going to what is going on in the whole crypto space what's going on with bitcoin what's going on with ethereum and there's even some things going on with even like things like dogecoin which is beneficial to the entire crypto space so we're, we got a lot to get to so as we get to it if you guys don't mind please do me a huge favor please be sure to smash destroy annihilate or gently press that like button that helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm helps spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you have not already and if you're interested in being a patreon helping support this channel even more i have one link is in the description thank you to all the patreons now let's get to it so we might not be seeing the stock market do too well right now but we are seeing a lot of improvements within the crypto market now looking over at bitcoin what we're seeing here is we're seeing this nice correction that bitcoin had, had we got this really nice bull run and this is the bull run that i've been talking about guys we finally are there so if you've been watching my videos before um what i had said is that we need to see bitcoin break above thirty-seven thousand dollars and be sustainable above thirty-seven thousand dollars which is what had happened recently Bitcoin had gone above that and it had gone to $40,000. That was the only way I had seen that if Bitcoin was to go to back to $40,000, it needed to break that $37,000 mark. So after it broke that, it had been more sustainable. We've seen a lot of buying activity coming into Bitcoin. Now the price of Bitcoin did drop for a little bit, but it has a new benchmark. It has all that new buying activity, which has helped out the price of uh, Bitcoin being more sustainable. Of course, there's going to be fluctuations of thousands of dollars in Bitcoin just because of all the volatility, but the buying activity has increased. Now, what we're seeing is that Bitcoin is starting to look a bit more sustainable around the price of $40,000. So we're going to need to get a new benchmark in to break above that to be able to get to $50,000, which could take a little while to see, but there is still resistance around where we're at right now. This is uh, just a new price that we've kind of hit, and it's been, been able to stay around this price for the last couple of days. Now, looking at um, other things though here, if we were to pull back about three months, you know, we still got a ways to go, but this is the biggest bull run that Bitcoin has had in a while. So we haven't seen Bitcoin go up this fast in in a while so in a good while so anyways uh, let's look over at what we're seeing with ethereum so looking at ethereum over these last 30 days we can see this nice v-shaped correction here in the price and a lot of positive buying activity going on a lot of volume within it of people buying and no crazy sell-offs so that's why we're seeing it go up really nicely here real fast but to get a really good idea where we need to be going let's look at it from the last three months now we can see where it was where it dropped down a lot but remember this had gone up really fast and then of course there was a good sell-off that happened when basically bitcoin was selling off and at that time if you look at all the buying activity it had going on back then uh, there was a lot going on there was a lot really moving it so um, the buying activity had slowed down a bit and that's why we're seeing the price kind of just moving around up and down a bit so with all this new buying activity coming in hopefully we can just see more and more of this coming in and what we really need to be seeing though is what we can tell right here with the price where it's at right now is the same high that it was at back in june so we need to see a break above this by a couple hundred dollars to uh to be able to get it much higher than that now of course there's always going to be a place where these are going to stop at nothing just keeps going up it's going to go back down it's going to go up that's just going to keep happening whatever can be driving these things up right now that could change of course there could be some sort of negativity come out and then it could create a large sell-off but at this moment we're seeing this nice bull run so everything is in our favor at this time so some FUD that's going on right now, of course, as we're seeing this bull run, there's going to just be more FUD that's going to keep coming out and things are going to be pushed. Um, this one right here, Congress likely to pass a $550 billion infrastructure bill that threatens to kill crypto industry. Um, nothing is going to be killing the crypto industry with some sort of government bill. 
Um, what this bill is, the whole point of this bill is to get more tax dollars in to pay for things. And uh, one of the things is that they're going to be cracking down on is the way that money is reported on cryptocurrencies, the way the, the miners, you know, keep track of information, the way that wallets are being used, you know, making sure that people don't have, say, a burner wallet out there somewhere that, that they're, they're invading taxes, you know, something like that is pretty much what this is about. This isn't about some sort of restriction that's going to affect the normal person that's buying cryptocurrencies and selling them because the the exchanges that mostly everybody uses here in the United States, they report all that stuff anyways. You guys get that, that tax form as it is. And this is just basically saying, hey, everybody needs to be doing this, you know, but um, but Coinbase, Robinhood, etc., they're already doing this stuff. So this is more so to crack down on like money, money laundering and people that are going different routes to avoid doing something like this. So that's all that that, that is. Um, this is kind of cracking down on people that are mining Bitcoin at home and not really reporting it type of thing. So there's just that, that's just really the the um, actual area that this is after. It's not going to be affecting the blockchain miners, the big guys, because they're required to with the sec to follow all rules to be a publicly traded company so I, I wouldn't think too much about that in general in my opinion now all this movement right now we don't see anything too crazy with the blockchain miner stocks but if you look at the prices that the th these things were at back when bitcoin was much higher uh we we saw like marathon digital at a price of around 57 dollars per share so there is still a lot of room to go when especially Marriott currently is trading at a price of about $27. But what's really interesting to me is these penny stocks like HUD 8, for example. HUD 8 currently trading for $4.73. But uh, back when Bitcoin was doing much better, when Ethereum was doing much better, HUD 8 had gone up to a high of about $13. So there is a lot to really be looking forward to. And especially for even Hive blockchain, who's also mining both Bitcoin and Ethereum, Hive blockchain currently priced at $2.57 $2 and its 52 week high was $5.75. So I'm really looking forward to what Hive blockchain could be doing. They've been getting even more into Ethereum mining. So I think that that's another area where they can really be breaking out in. So some news that have just come out about Hive blockchain recently is that their global operations are producing a Bitcoin equivalent operational hash rate of 1.675 exahash from its Bitcoin and Ethereum operations based on current Ethereum and Bitcoin prices. They said we are generating daily income of $550,000, which translate to an annual run rate of $200 million. Estimated annual run rate operating and overhead costs are $25 million. In addition, Hive continues to strengthen its miner purchasing pipeline with the purchase of 4,000 next generation miners with an operating hash rate of 272 pay to hashes a second. So now real quick, I want to talk about bit farms. Now, this one is currently trading for a price of $4.13 and it's 52 week high is $10. There's a lot of room still to grow with this if the price does go back up with Bitcoin and Ethereum. But something interesting that came out recently was a presentation that they did. And it's comparing what the uh, market cap to hash rate is. And this is as of prices of July 14th for their market caps. And it's, it's comparing BitFarms to HUD8, Marathon Digital, Hive Blockchain, and Riot Blockchain. And what it's saying is in comparison to what you're paying for for the market cap to hash rate, BitFarms is actually the lowest cost one. Next would be HUD8 and um, next would be Hive Blockchain. And then it's saying Marathon Digital is actually a better price than Riot Blockchain. So anyways, this video is just an update on what is currently going on with these blockchain mining stocks and the whole crypto space in general. I do these videos all the time. If you guys are new here, please do consider subscribing. I do keep you guys up to date on what is going on in this blockchain space and in the whole cryptocurrency space, as well as talk about all different types of publicly traded companies, but mostly EV and blockchain miners. So with that being said, I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. New videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video coming very soon.